Word 2013. Resume. A resume should include name, contact information, goals, education, including school, what was studied and dates, experience, where you worked, what you did, dates, and references. You see, I have all the required items here. If your email address turns into a link, right-click and remove the hyperlink. Recall our Create, Edit, Format paradigm. A table would be a great way to organize the education, experience, and references. Insert table. I think two by three will be fine for what we're doing. Move the cursor until it's a double-sided arrow. Pull it over. Education. Experience. References. Use lists to format these areas. A great way to manage these is in list format. On the Home tab, bulleted list. Since LVN and this date go with Temple College, I can increase the indent. I could also copy and paste to create additional items for a later editing. Make sure when including references, you list good contact information. This is a very brief listing. Make sure you include contact information, uh, duties performed, and other relevant information for experience. When you're finished, format the document. Make sure you're using bold, different fonts, and use styles. You may have noticed I spelled resume within my document. There are at least four ways to do this in Word. You could insert a symbol, start and run character map, locate the acute E, copy, and then paste into Word, press Control and the apostrophe at the same time, release, press E, or my favorite, press Alt, hold it down, and type 0233 and let go. You could also use a template to create your Word document. Choose File and New to get to the templates. Click on the box to make your changes. If you don't like summary, change it to goals. If you don't like skills, change it to education. If it's more trouble to fix a template, pick a different one. 